Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, December the 20th, 2022. We're glad you joined us. Shower, O heavens, from above and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open that salvation may spring up and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God, he himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 66. Be joyful in God, all you lands. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down before you. Sing to you, sings out your name. Come now and see the works of God, how wonderful he is in doing his will toward all people. He turned the sea into dry land so that they went through the water on foot, and there we rejoiced in him. In his might he rules forever. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard, who holds our souls in life and will not allow our foot to sleep. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water. But you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you vows, which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifices of fat beasts and with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. I called out to him with my mouth, and his praise was on my tongue. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld his love from me. Psalm 67. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing, and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. On that day the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time to recover the remnant that is left of his people, from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Ethiopia, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and from the coastlands of the sea. He will raise a signal for the nations and will assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim shall depart. The hostility of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah, and Judah shall not be hostile towards Ephraim. But they shall swoop down on the backs of the Philistines in the west. Together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall put forth their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites shall shall obey them. And the Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt and will wave his hand over the river with his scorching wind and will split it into seven channels and make it a way to cross on foot so that there shall be a highway from Assyria from the remnant that is left of his people as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle is a song of praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from Luke. Now in the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly order of Abijah. His wife was a descendant of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth. Both of them were righteous before God, living blamelessly according to all the commandments and regulations of the Lord, but they had no children because Elizabeth was barren and both were getting on in years. Once when he was serving as priest before God and his section was on duty, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priesthood to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and offer incense. Now at the time of the incense offering, the whole assembly of the people was praying outside. Then there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified and fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must never drink wine or strong drink, even before his birth. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. With the spirit and the power of Elijah, he will go before him to turn the hearts of their parents to their children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, and to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said to the angel, How will I know that this is so? For I am an old man, and my wife is getting on in years. The angel replied, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and bring you this good news. But now, because you do not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time, you will become mute, unable to speak, until the day these things occur. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondered at his delay in the sanctuary. When he did come out, he could not speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He kept motioning to them, but remained unable to speak. When his time of service was ended, he went to his home. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she remained in seclusion. She said, This is what the Lord has done for me when he looked favorably on me and took away the disgrace I have endured among my people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A song to the Lamb, Dignuses. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you have created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now, let us profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Sisters and brothers, let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming, may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray for the mission of the church. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen. Let us now bring our own needs and intentions before the Lord and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, and in many cases, his forgiveness. Remember us, O Lord, when we come into your kingdom. As we move through the world, show the world you move through us. Keep us faithful to your teachings and never let us be parted from you. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Again, thank you so much for joining us for morning prayer today. We hope you have a wonderful, productive day. Remember, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow.